Welcome back, everyone. Ben and Reese here, friendly neighborhood fanboys, and um, how the fuck are you? <laughs> the embargo is finally lifted for Black Adam. We have a mostly positive review, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everything we couldn't uh, say in our previous review, obviously, we're gonna say now, and we're gonna go fucking off. Yes. So, are we uh, just gonna go like scene by scene? Or like Might as well. We can just do the same as last time. Likes, okay, dislikes, like and overall. maybe like a few things we like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like leaving the theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do that, if you could please hit that like button, leave us a like rating. It really, really does help us out. So please, if you enjoyed our review, do that for us. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, more reaction content, reviews, yeah. etc. We're also going to have a podcast session with the entire squad after they see it on Thursday. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, tune in for that. Stay Start with likes. Okay. Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen up. Like we said last time, Doctor Fate was easily my favorite part of the movie. Yep. I mean, other than the spoiler at the end, which now we can talk about. Yes. Which, why don't we? Should we start with that? Right. Let's start with it because it was the big. Best part. Henry Cavill is That's back. Cool. Oh my God! It was so good to see him. He looks great. Very good. The suit was from uh, BBS. I want to say, you know, in the brief three milliseconds we saw it. Yes. <laughs> to me, it looked like either the BVS suit, because you could see kind of like that chrome under suit, muscle yeah. suit that they used, or it could be like the Justice League one, which as we all know, was actually red and blue, but they just pumped up the colors a bit. Mm -hmm. So whether or not he was just wearing that old suit and they did it in post or whatever they did, yeah, it was cool. That was all I could really notice with the suit, <clears throat> but he had the curl, and then you heard a little bit of a rendition of the John Williams uh, Superman theme, so. But it wasn't done like over the top, like he didn't come in like, <laughs> like, no, it was it was done well, even though I really do want to hear the original uh, Man of Steel Han score yeah. back. But, it just uh, suits Cattle Superman yeah. so well. <laughs> For sure. We just got confirmation uh, yesterday, late yesterday, that they are developing. It says quote unquote Man of Steel 2, but another Superman project with Henry Cavill. Yeah. Probably won't be a direct sequel. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that's out of the way. Let's just let's move on from that. Yeah. That'll be a podcast discussion. But uh, yeah, I mean, Dr. Fate for me too was, yes. was, was great. However, I did have gripes. Again, spoiler alert, obviously, he dies. All right? Probably the stupidest yeah. way ever too. Like no, they mentioned at the beginning that he's like, super fucking powerful and then yeah. they also mentioned that he's a little bit old and then they also retconned uh, Hawkman being like a Thanagarian uh, who gets reincarnated and instead he is just a rich dude and he's been doing this for a while <laughs> with no sign of reincarnation. Yeah, which and would have been such a cool thing to do because then it would make sense if Doctor Fate Vision sure. was like, oh, Hawkman dies, but he doesn't realize that he can come back, yeah. which is such a good point that you made, which I really like. 100%, yeah. right? And which would make it a lot more interesting, in my opinion, anyway. I agree. And we don't lose Doctor Fate. Yes. It's like, hey, let's introduce this amazing character and then kill and him. And then kill him off. And then the best part nice. about that was, you know, his the helmet was left over at the end, and I was like, you know what, like, this is kind of cool. Like maybe like Hawkman will put it on because they have this big reveal where yeah. Hawkman's holding it and he does this duplication thing. Yeah. And he's like, we couldn't have done it without our friend. And then the fucking helmet disappears. <laughs> and you're like, like literally like a la the snap fucking fades yeah. into shitty CGI Except, dust. Yeah, 2D mosaic effect from After Effects. <laughs> Oh God! You know what? I gotta say, the movie started off really strong. I liked the beginning of, of like showing the yeah. how vicious Black Adam was, mm -hmm. like he was murdering all those mercenaries and stuff like that. And yeah. like that was cool. I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna sure. happen. But then we get into that slow mo scene, and it's like, okay, it's cool. And then after that, it's like, okay, what the fuck is going Literally. on? Literally, because we got part, Tony Hawk, our boy. <laughs> going back to that, like that opening scene first, though, like I agree, it was cool. But then I found, like at first, when they set up, there's this big slow motion scene. It's like almost like the beginning of Watchmen type, that slow. And it's meant to show like how fast he is and mm. and stuff like that, and how he reacts to like all the shit being thrown at him, essentially. But I found it just dragged on too long. Like it was just all in slow-mo and you would see him like do one thing or like touch a helicopter propeller that's flying by him to like go into a bunch of guys or like he puts a grenade in someone's mouth and it's like, okay, like, yeah, let's see it pay off. And you're expecting it to happen like right as it does that. Yeah. But then it leaves it all to the end. And then it's just a one big massive one explosion. Big explosion. <laughs> and then like the only one you kind of get a payoff for is the grenade in the mouth. But even that doesn't really like, yeah. It's not like impactful. You're just like, ah, like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of interesting to me. And then, yeah, like the, the side characters were just underdeveloped, poorly written, dialogue was cheesy as fuck. 
Mm -hmm. We like Tony Hawk, like we just mentioned, like God damn it. that was our inside <laughs> joke. It's this kid who was just literally on a skateboard the entire movie, but like for no reason. No reason. Like he's 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 trying to talk to Black Adam and going down these stairs instead of just running downstairs like normal people. He'll run down a set of stairs and then when there's a plateau area, he'll get back on his skateboard. But they show like a close up of him. I'm like, I don't care about the fucking skateboard. I care about literally. him and I care about Black Adam. That's why yeah. I'm here. But thank God we got this. Like this kid got more screen time than Doctor. Who is yeah. infinitely more interesting. For but, sure. Yeah. Just like, there's so many instances of that too. Yeah. That, like, I can't even begin to touch on, but. Well, even, I think another random point here too is like when Cyclone gets recruited to the team and yeah. she like goes to the front door and she's obviously like new there, but then all of a sudden she's like to Adam Smasher, oh, don't touch that helmet. How do you know about the helmet if Literally. you were just recruited? Oh, it's fates. If you touch it, it'll fucking, whatever she says will happen to you if, if Adam Smasher touches it, but you're like, didn't you just show up yeah. seemingly like not knowing where you were or like this is your first time here kind of thing? And yeah. yeah, just very weird. Like I, I said this in the spoiler free review. I honestly think that uh, the JSA should not have been in this movie at all. Or if they were in it, made them the main antagonists against Black Adam or the heroes against Black Adam. That's the main antagonist. However you want yeah. to approach that. But I just feel like, you know, they are great characters at the end of the day, but they just didn't have the, the time or the opportunity to build on their backstories. And yeah. instead it was like this cheap, it almost like the budget action movie type. Montage. Like, like, literally, yeah. like <laughs> one line for each character, like, like fucking Thanks Adam Thanks for the Smasher. suit, uncle. Yeah, literally. Car drives away. Yeah, it's that's like, it. What? Thank you, Adam Smasher, my uncle who was Adam Smasher before me, and now I have your suit. Like, yeah. essentially what it was. Or like, Dr. Fate was like, you know, so Hawkman's like, he's really powerful, and yeah. here's the helmet, mm. and he sees the future. And then, that's it. Like, we see some yeah. of his powers. How did he get the helmet? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Exactly. Who else? Like, Cyclone, you don't really hear a lot about either. I actually still don't know what her fucking powers are. It's like, oh, she conjures wind. She conjures open. wind, but you, you never see it really in, in motion. You just see it in slow motion, which... <laughs> this movie tends to fucking lean on a lot and people used to make fun of Zack Snyder and again we're not trying to be Snyder fanboys even though I'm wearing this I'm not even wearing this purposely right now but like he used it in a stylistic way and when it kind of needed to happen I'm not saying he didn't overuse it at times which he definitely did but this is just like yeah literally I don't think there's one shot other than like a wide of Cyclone using your powers not in slow -mo. Yeah. Every time she was on screen, yeah, it's like it was when like, she first gets down there to like attack. Black <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. always, every time. I was like, I, I literally meant, made a mental note in my head when I saw it twice, and I'm like, I wonder if it's gonna happen again. It did. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Like just and talk about. Let's talk about the CG. Actually, I think that's a good segue because mm -hmm. I don't know. You, you, you fucking you explain what you thought of the CG. <laughs> There's one moment specifically where. Okay, hold on. Let me start with the good things. I thought there was a lot of good parts like again dr fate's effects awesome yes. love those I, th I thought those were sick even cyclone sometimes were pretty cool like they looked artsy even those slow-mo shots sure overused mm -hmm. and stuff but they looked like pretty solid but then it's like black adam flying and stuff i think you mentioned it or you described it this way where when him and hawkman are going at it and then they cut in really close and it looks like uh fight between darth vader and obi-wan it's like yes. all these close-ups a lot of cuts i'm like i don't know what the fuck is going Literally. on Literally, like, <laughs> yeah and like it was clearly all cg too like yeah that section in particular yeah which didn't really happen the rest of the movie like i found there was a lot of wire work and yeah a lot of like yeah, actual cool yeah which was awesome but then like that one part it's like okay did they add that in last minute and they yeah. just cg the shit out of it yeah it just wasn't necessary and, and like, then again, there's that I can't wait to watch this movie again because there's one part where he takes off and then just hard cuts to the left. But it's like <laughs> it, it's like he was just cut out PNG and then they just and like, like did a freeze frame and then yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, oh my heavens! And, and I think people are overlooking because I see a lot of people saying like, well, you know, the effects were good, but the story was weak. Like, I think a lot of people are overlooking the actual inadequacies of the effects and they're just looking at it as a whole and being like, well, you know, there was cool things and like all yeah. the slow mo explosions at the beginning were cool and it's like when you really dive into it there are a lot of flaws and there were reshoots happening last year we're not those people that are like well reshoots mean things are bad but clearly it didn't work well for this movie i don't know what they reshot but it seems like a lot of things were rushed mm -hmm. last minute especially the fucking third act villain oh, which was just fuck. like terrible yeah oh, like, well we'll say one uh, i'll say one good thing i liked adam <laughs> smasher's effects yes he was cool but uh, again, it's just like, like hey, uh, remember Civil War from a few years ago? Let's do that. Yeah. But make it DC. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I agree. Give it's them like, Deadpool quips. It's like, yeah. okay. Like, <laughs> I agree. But I'm just saying, purely effects-wise, mm -hmm. they did it well. Um, For sure. But yes, moving into the third act, CG. <laughs> it's like, 
it's like they took every it's like they took the average of every superhero movie and they're like what does everyone do let's give yeah. the civilians who have no power something to fight which was those fucking random For zombies no that came up which never got set up in the story and then guess what we put a fucking beam in the sky <laughs> nice <laughs> Whoever has done that? Which Nobody's ever done that before. Also executed hilariously. Yes. So uh, let's get into the plot of that first, and then we'll go into okay, the CG. Yeah, so <laughs> basically, there's a bunch of mercenaries who, for some reason, are given like way too overly futuristic tech for yeah. like Kandak, basically. So the first Wakanda? two, <laughs> yeah, basically, it's like the first two shots of the fucking movie are these two hover bikes that have this weird blue emanating energy, and like you literally, you don't really see these people helmetless, other than like one scene where Black Adam takes them by the fucking yeah. collars and shit. But like, they're never explained why they have this tech. Uh, they give a hint. It's called Ethereum, I think, which is something like, like or something, whatever the fuck it's called. Like <laughs> the, the cash money Ethereum. <laughs> yeah, not Ethereum, whatever it's sorry. Called, yeah. Whatever the fuck it's called. Let's, <laughs> let's call it Ethereum for yeah. the sake of it being fucking... <laughs> but they take this fucking blue stone, which you see at the beginning, which is what uh, Black Adam's son, they're all digging for in Kandak back in the day. And you think, okay, like this is gonna be his kryptonite. Like you see him injured by it. You see that these mercenaries are using weapons that are powered by it. You're like, oh shit, that's his kryptonite. Yes. And you're like, he can't get through that shield that they're hiding behind. They're hiding the kid. Exactly. Yeah. And you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you assume that these bikes that five of them are riding in the movie are also powered by this because there's blue glow emanating from them. Yes. It's never really explained what it does. It's never explained like why the fuck or how the fuck they were able to mine so much of it to use it. Yep. None of that is explained and it's just passed off and you never really see it used against them again. Okay. Yep. The main leader <laughs> of the mercenaries ends up being the main villain of the movie. Okay, it's set up that he's He's a friend of his mother and her child at the beginning of the movie, who are the ones that actually wake Black Adam up. You know, it's that typical like, oh shit, he's actually double crossing them type of plot. Yeah. Turns out he's this ancient king that Black Adam murdered <laughs> back in the day out of fucking rage that his son died. Then there's this crown, the MacGuffin of the movie basically. And there's a stupid ass part that they're reading an inscription on the crown and they're basically oh, like, yeah. yeah, like- uh, Flip it upside down. Literally, <laughs> yeah, literally though. So they're reading it and it reads like, like uh, all death comes from life or something. And they're like, Haha, no shit. Like, obviously yeah. you, when, after you live, you die. And then they're like, yeah. wait, but if you flip it upside down and read it, it reads. <laughs> yeah, literally. It was like, no, you only, you only live if you die. And then they're like, oh shit. He yeah. wanted to die. Yeah. Spoiler. Black Adam kills this guy in the crown fucking basically absorbs him absorbs or like, it what? or pushes him into hell and then you see two unknown hellish creatures that you've never seen prior to that scene come and they're like oh you must do our bidding <laughs> yeah. and fuck they're like Sama. yeah <laughs> <laughs> And they're basically like, say my name so you can go fucking kill him. And he's like, Sama! <laughs> <laughs> and randomly, now he's a fucking, basically a fucking walking billy goat. Minotaur <laughs> with red fucking skin. I fought a minotaur to be here, son. <laughs> And he has red fucking skin, and he has the same scars as the fucking king that Black Adam killed 5,000 years ago. Yeah. He does nothing but want to take the throne of fucking Kandak. He shoots, like where he said, a beam into the sky, it cracks the sky open. <laughs> and then that apparently brings the undead from hell through apparently, the ground. Apparently. They don't really explain that either. A yeah. bunch of fucking uh, Indiana Jones... The Temple of Doom fucking <laughs> yeah. skeletons come out of the ground. Literally. Uh, and then my favorite shot in the whole movie comes because this kid somehow unites the town by talking at like room tone volume. <laughs> We need to save this yeah, on thing. On a bunch of Golden. CGI rubble. Yeah, and then he just goes like this, and then apparently the whole town knows, oh yeah, fuck, I guess oh, there, I there's a revolution. Oh, I from the ancient text yeah. from 5,000 years ago. Yeah. And then there's this like 300 millimeter shot of this kid coming around the corner on a skateboard <laughs> with, with all the fucking townspeople behind him. And, and they're, they're like, like, ah! Like it's that typical yeah. like rallying the fucking troops moment of, of yeah. fucking regular citizens. Yeah, and like we're supposed to feel like inspired. Like, yeah, I'm like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Show me Dr. Fate. Literally. Uh, uh, yeah. Fuck. So then, after all of that is said and done, they have this final battle and like literally Cyclone and Adam Sider don't do anything because they can't. Nope. Dr. Fate tries to trap him and he's, you know, him and Hawkman are going back and forth being like, oh, I saw your death and I don't want to lose a friend. So Fate kind of puts what, like a dome around the... Something like that. Mystical yeah. shield of some kind. Yeah, so Hawkman can't get through and he like holds him off long enough. But before all of this, 
I guess we didn't even touch on it because I fucking completely forgot until this complete moment that Black Adam gives his powers away to be locked up. Yep. So then Fate has to go wake him back up to fucking Which was a cool scene. Yes. But like out of context, it was cool to see and like the Fate powers, he kind of like yeah, astral projects himself without, you know, obviously being too much of a Doctor Strange ripoff. But yeah, again, it's just like, it's, it comes down to, I think just their, their characters are not they're not well fleshed out. Like there's there's no there's no backstories really. There's there's no development. It's just like, like if that okay, was a old show. friend, let me let me fucking save you. It doesn't hold weight because yeah, like, we like why have they been friends for so long? Yes, we never saw the friendship. Yeah, it's like let's get on my SR seventy one Blackbird from X Men and fucking fly <laughs> over to and go out of the fucking uh, yeah. X Men mansion and fucking yeah. That was yeah. another thing too. Just a ton of things that are just poorly written. Like mm -hmm. you know, they the first thing they say is like, oh, this ship is like one. 100% indestructible and fucking like because it's made know. of ethereum <laughs> yeah ethereum the money ethereum the, the currency <laughs> and uh it's made out of liquid metal and fucking all this like every fucking thing down to the bolt is made out of fucking whatever and then the fucking thing gets torn in half yeah by black guy and you're like Hmm. What? Sweet. <laughs> why? And why do you have a ship anyway? I don't want to see a fucking X-Men ship. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, where does this take place in the DCEU? Is it an alternate timeline? Is it fucking completely separate from fucking anything? Because all of a sudden there's a mansion and the JSA are apparently a thing, even though only two members know about what they're yeah. doing. And if, if only you had someone on your team who could teleport you places. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> if only. I laughed at that. I literally laughed when I heard Fate say, Oh, what do you mean? We're the Justice Society. And like, like oh, yeah. walk forward and I'm like, yeah, but who Adam Smasher's is? new, Cyclone <laughs> is or isn't new, and then who's that? Two of you are the Justice Society? Congrats. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We could rant about this for hours, and we will, on, we the will on the podcast. I'm just trying to think of anything else that's like really... I mean, the ending, I guess, is just your classic ending of like, oh, he sits on the throne, and you get that cool shot of him, like, I guess that's a, what, like a comic book cover or something? I think and, like, so. Yeah, yeah, the classic, yeah, with yeah. The, the, yeah. And then what does and he, he do? Gets he, just, he gets the classic suit, too, which I should point out, which is cool. I kind of did like the first one, like the battle-scarred older one that he yeah. wears better. You do get the comic accurate one with the gold and all the nice mm -hmm. gold boots and everything like that. Yeah. It does look sick. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, and then he flies up and punches the throne, which is like, just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. And then the last scene is Amanda Waller saying, you better not leave the country and Kandax your prison now. So they're basically just being like, it's okay that you just go murder everyone to protect this entire country. No problem. <laughs> just stay in it and don't come outside. Yeah. It seemed very backwards to me. I was like, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you guys didn't know, Black Adam kills, by the way, and they let you oh. know the entire movie. Heroes don't kill while I do. Literally. It's Fucking just congrats. like this, like, it's, it's an argument that they just lace throughout the movie that, like, doesn't have to be an argument. It's like, we yeah. get it. You kill. We get it. There's two sides of being a hero. It's like, what does a hero mean? to you that's a big theme throughout but yeah. like it never really pays off in any way mm -hmm. like there's no like solution to the thesis or the problem it's just like no no like there are good and bad that's it and you're like Okay. I get it. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> I know you're an anti-hero. You don't yeah. have to say it 900 times. Yeah. And or how about the scene where they basically destroy the Justice League in that room? Yeah. Like, like po posters of the Justice League. <laughs> legit. It's like, okay, we get Black Adam as, you know, the strongest The hierarchy of power is going to change. It's yeah. like, okay, we know. <laughs> but you don't have to literally show yourself smashing Justice League posters. It's like, <laughs> like fucking, like, Hawkman's mace goes into the Aquaman poster yeah. right on his fucking head. Oh, fuck, head. the first scene when he wakes up in the bed, he shoots lightning at Superman's face. Yeah. And, it's like, and again, there's another one okay. where he, it's him punching through the wall, and it's right through a Superman poster, and yeah. you're like... Okay. I get it. <laughs> fuck. Or they, like, they fucking tackle each other into the Wonder Woman poster, and yeah. you're like... That one I'm fine with because Wonder Woman 84 is terrible. Oh, it was a great movie. Uh, <laughs> no, but like, oh my god. Anyway, again, we're going to go over more of this with the other two guys in the spoiler review. My brain's just so flustered because I'm like, yeah. that was how I felt going out of the movie. I'm like, why does why this happen all the time? Yeah, it, again, it was funny that people cheered more for the mid credit scene than the fucking oh my god. end of the movie. No like, one end of the movie, it was like, the movie fucking okay, finished. Henry pops off through, Ooh! <laughs> Keep in mind, this was like a press slash like fan screening too, and like even the press were all like, "Woo!" And like oh, yeah. seeing Henry, and that just tells you it's like, yeah, you, you do have to bank on those characters, and I'm glad he's coming back. But yeah. like for the Rock to have to go and do that and fight for it just to get people to see his movie is kind of alarming. 
Yeah, honestly. And that's why he started revealing that in like his press talks and stuff like before the movie came out. So that people would go see it because of- Exactly, because it's teasing something bigger that people actually like wouldn't mind seeing again. Yeah, but. fair enough. I mean, on a positive note though, I just want to say <clears throat> on behalf of both of us, thank you for all the engagement on our last yeah. video about Black Adam. It was great chatting with you guys. Thanks for all your feedback and everything. And with that being said too, it's like, let us know in the comments if there are, are any outstanding questions that you have, like more specifically about characters and we will both again get back to you in the comments and mm -hmm. now we can fully answer any of your questions so yeah, yeah specific we, questions let us know and if we don't know it alex will so yeah 100 <laughs> yeah. great movie 10 out of 10 would see it um, yeah. no honestly here's the thing with all that being said as again you use the word as a fun movie yes i was gonna say as a popcorn movie yes if yeah. you just want to go kick your feet back and just like go kill a couple hours like mm -hmm. go see it the Black Adam stuff, again, is cool. Yeah, visually a cool move. Yeah, some of the fight sequences are cool, but just as a whole. Shit, like, make it a drinking game. Every time you ask yourself, wait, what? Every time you see take a kid a on a skateboard, take a oh, shot. Oh, you'd be fucking dead. You'll be rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heavens. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's all we can really say, so. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We appreciate you guys, and thanks for tuning in to the Friendly Neighborhood. <laughs> that works. <laughs> This is the podcast. Bye. <laughs> <See ya. laughs>